Well guys, there it is. Tesla my Tesla stock up to $404.04 a share. It closed at today. A new all-time high for Tesla stock ever. And the stock is now starting to approach that infamous 420 number. It's absolutely amazing, okay? Up over $10 a share here today. Another 2.77% gainer. This stock has been amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing the past seven months. This was a stock that was under $180 seven months ago. And now here today, seven months later, we're looking at a stock that is over $400, so well over a double up now, and in a very short amount of time, it's absolutely amazing. And maybe even more amazing, if you just go back to October, October, this was a stock that was trading around $240 a share, and now it's over 400, so it's gained over $160 a share in less than a three month span. Over $160 a share in less than a three month span. It's been absolutely crazy, okay? Okay. But here's two things I want to discuss in this video here today, okay? Number one, is this crazy, okay? Like, like that stock performance, is this, is this crazy, okay? Number two thing I want to talk about today is what could stop this momentum? There are three things that could potentially stop this momentum of inflows of money coming in the stock. And obviously, it's just a lot more buying pressure on Tesla stock than selling pressure. So the question is, what could stop this? There are three things that could potentially stop it. So we'll talk about that, okay? First, let's talk about, is this crazy? Okay, so let's just talk about a couple stocks I own first, and then I'm going to show you a couple other stocks. Okay, so if we look at another stock I own, like Cruzy Doozy, okay, this is a stock that went from like 33 bucks a share 11 months ago, and now this is a stock that's trading over 80. Okay, so that's not quite a triple up, but that is well, well over a double up, and that performance is actually a little better than Tesla. So it is certainly possible for stocks to 2x, 3x, maybe even more than 3x in, in let's say a year span. So it's not necessarily crazy if you look at a stock like that. You look at another stock of mine like an elf. This was a stock that was trading under $7 a share and it went all the way up to nearly $20 a share in a matter of about eight months span. Once again, when you look at another stock like that, look at that performance there with a stock like elf. It's absolutely incredible, okay? And it makes it look like, hey, you know, uh, Tesla stock might have a lot more room to run. Let's go ahead and talk about some stocks I didn't own and went on some crazy runs, okay? So if we go back to Nvidia, here's what happened with Nvidia stock just a few years ago. You go back to January, January, February of 2016. This was a stock you could pick up for 30 bucks a share, maybe even a little under $30 a share. And between that time and the next three years, this was a stock that over 10 x it went up to almost $300 a share in a matter of less than three years. So we're talking about a 10 x there with a stock like Nvidia. So if you think like, like you know, uh, Tesla's performance is great, it has been amazing and to see it continually go up is definitely an amazing thing to see. But keep in mind, there are like levels to this, okay? Nvidia. 10x in less than three years. Here we are with Tesla stock. It's a little over doubled up in a matter of about seven months. That's amazing. But keep in mind, their stock's at 10x, okay? We look at a stock like Amazon. And what you're gonna find, if you go back to early 2015, Amazon was trading under $400 a share, okay? Trading under $400 a share. Over the course of the next four years, the stock essentially 5x, okay? It hit about $2,000 a share at its peak. And that was all within a four year span. So absolutely, like, like we can see some crazy performances here, okay? You look at a stock like Square. This is another one similar to Nvidia. This was a stock that was trading under $10 a share. And over the next two to three years, this was a stock that over 10 x okay? At one point, it was trading over $100 a share. So, you know, just keep in mind there are levels to this, okay? So even if you saw a great stock go up 2x or 3x in a few years time or something like that, just keep in mind there are stocks out there, great companies that are great growth companies that literally grow their market caps and their stock price by 5x or 10x in a matter of two or three years, okay? So it is absolutely possible and it's not like it just has to be some type of small company because keep in mind, NVIDIA is definitely a good sized company that continually grew. Same thing with Square. And you look at a company like Tesla, this is a company that still has a market cap of under 100 billion and so if you're thinking about the law of large numbers, it starts to catch up to the higher up you go, but still like there, it's nothing too crazy, okay? Now think about it in terms of like an Amazon or an Apple stock or something like that. Like those type of stocks to 10XM would be ridiculous because they would need to 10X their net incomes and like to 
10x their in net incomes at this point in time is completely unrealistic, especially in any short manner like a two or three year span or something like that. So it's not necessarily crazy that Tesla stock has gone up this much, although it is awesome performance, okay? So that's the first thing I wanna talk about today. Now let's talk about the three things that could potentially stop this rally in Tesla stock. And there are three things I see, okay? The first thing is if for some reason they lost money in Q4 and the company had a negative EPS, I could see that as being something that could potentially stop the stock rally and stop the huge buying pressure in the stock, okay? Keep in mind, if we go back to that chart, you know, we're looking at October, why did the stock start shooting up in October and it basically hasn't stopped shooting up ever since? Well, the main reason was most analysts out there expected the company to lose money in that quarter and quite a bit of money and that Tesla actually made a very nice profit in that shocked the investor community where it was like, oh, we expected a big loss. They came in with a really nice profit. What the heck just happened? It took a lot of people by surprise. It took a lot of short sellers by surprise. It made a lot of short sellers cover their shares. It made a lot of analysts that were super bearish turn a little more bullish and it made some bulls even into bigger bulls essentially where they wanted to buy even more shares because they're like, this company was expected to lose money. Oh my gosh, they made money. Okay, so just keeping that in mind, okay? So in this Q4 quarter, this December quarter, companies expected to have a, a positive EPS of about $1.36. And so if for some reason they missed that number, actually came in with a negative number, I could definitely, definitely see this, this stock dipping big and the, a lot of the buying pressure evaporating. Keep in mind, it's probably at this point not just investors buying the stock and pushing up, it's probably a lot of traders and a lot of trading funds that are looking at this momentum in Tesla stock and like, we want to get onto this bull ride. Let's ride this puppy till it ends, okay? So if for some reason they, they miss the numbers, they don't come in uh, and they actually have a negative number there, I can see that something as shooting the stock down in the short term in 2020, okay? But Keep in mind, $1.36 is expected. What if they come in higher? What if the number's better? I think then the, the momentum could definitely keep up in Tesla stock because then you would have a lot of these analysts, well, keep in mind, analysts are expecting on average Tesla to earn $5.40 of EPS in 2020, okay? And if Tesla goes ahead and beats numbers in that current quarter, the Q4, I think all of a sudden a lot of these analysts are gonna revisit their numbers and they're gonna look at 2020 and they're gonna say, maybe we're too low. They're gonna say, maybe we're or too low, maybe we need to bring up numbers, and if you have a bunch more analysts turn even more bullish and the numbers get even more positive, and what if the analyst community on average starts expecting $7, $9, $11 of EPS in 2020? That would be a huge reversal versus, you know, $5.40, needless to say. And keep in mind, a lot of the analyst community is completely clueless on, on what's gonna happen next year in terms of EPS. I mean, you can just see it in the numbers. The low estimate, okay, so the analyst has a low lowest estimate on the stock has them earning 85 cents a share. The highest, the most bullish analyst on Wall Street has Tesla earning $14.40 a share of EPS in 2020. Basically meaning that Wall Street is completely clueless on this particular stock. Like you'll always see a difference of opinion from the bearish analysts on a stock versus the bullish ones. And you're gonna always see a little difference there. But 85 cents to 14.40, it is so dramatic that it just kind of shows that the kind of Wall Wall Street is very confused on what Tesla. They really have no conception on what Tesla, but on average, they're expecting about $5, $5.40 of EPS for Tesla to earn in 2020. And basically Q4 is gonna be a huge quarter for Tesla in kind of making the final judgments for a lot of these analysts on kind of figuring out what they expect for it, for Tesla to earn actually in 2020. So if Tesla was coming in with a negative number when the $1.36 expected, that could definitely be something that slows down the stock. However, on the flip side, if, if they come out with a nice beat, they come in with a $1.70, $1.80 EPS in Q4, a lot of these analysts are gonna say, maybe we're too dang low for our expectations for 2020, okay? So that's the first thing I could slow down the stock potentially. Number two thing I see that could potentially slow down the stock in the short term is if they missed revenue in Q4. Keep in mind, uh, when you look at Tesla stock, it, it's, a, it's a kind of story on, on two fronts, okay? One is they have the revenue story, which is growth, growth, growth. Let's grow, let's sell more cars, let's sell more batteries, that sell more solar panels, all those sorts of things, okay? So that's the one side of Tesla stock you have. You have the other side that is emerging now that says, let's make this a profitable company. Let's make this a really profitable company once we make it a profitable company. So you have those two sides of Tesla and you have different people looking at different things. Some people only care about the revenue growth. Some people only care about the EPS. People like myself wanna see both. I wanna see healthy revenue growth from the company. I wanna see this company continually grow double digits per year for years to come in the future, which I definitely think 
think is possible, but I want to see them start making a profit on a yearly basis starting in 2020. And I would love to see them get to, you know, $10, $20, $30 of EPS per year as fast as possible with this business model. Okay. But keep in mind, a lot of the investor community really looks at the revenue numbers. They want to see that big growth. And if for some reason they missed on revenue, and I'm talking about a pretty good size miss, like a, you know, maybe they come in with a $6.7 billion number or 6.6 .6 billion or something like that. Keep in mind, numbers are expected to be down 5% year over year. Keep in mind, this was a huge quarter last year with a ton of deliveries in the States with people looking to get their Model 3s before a lot of the tax credit, the huge tax credits ran out and whatnot. So 6.86 billion, but if they missed numbers there, I could definitely see the stock pulling back some and some of this momentum in the stock fading and the stock ultimately falling in the short term, okay? Now, if we look at US vehicle sales for November, according to Clean Technica, looking at about 10,500 Tesla Model 3s were sold, about 1,700 Model Xs around, and about 1,000 Tesla Model Xs, according to Clean Technica there. So what is that end up coming down to here? The wild card in terms of revenue and probably even EPS, but especially in terms of that revenue number and does Tesla beat, does Tesla miss, it's gonna come down to China, okay? Because we don't know exactly how many cars they're producing out of that new gigafactory in Shanghai, China. We know they're producing some cars. We've seen the photos. We've seen the gentleman like Jason Yang flying their drones around, okay? And we've seen that there's definitely a lot of Model 3s being made out of there, but we don't know. That's the wild card there, and that's gonna be what we have to see, basically. Does Tesla beat numbers, especially if we're talking revenue, in Q4? If they go ahead and do that, a lot of it will be because of China, okay? And if they don't beat numbers and they actually come in with a miss, I could definitely see the stock pulling back big because I think, you know, you definitely have some, some traders that have jumped in the stock and they're looking at it and they're like, we want to keep this momentum going. But if they saw something like a falling revenue number there or a revenue number that just doesn't grow as fast as analysts are expecting, I could definitely see a sell-off in the stock in the short term, maybe down to a 370 level, maybe even down to a 350, 340 level, somewhere around there, okay? Which just keep in mind, that's where the stock was like a couple weeks ago. So even if it sold off from 400 to let's say 340, it sounds like a huge number, but that's literally where the stock was just a few weeks ago, okay? So it wouldn't be that crazy, okay? So that's the second way I could see Tesla stock potentially falling in the short term. The third thing that I think could kill momentum in the short term is if we had a big correction in the stock market. Let's keep in mind, 2019 has been a heck of a year in the market. I mean, a heck of a year. You go back to the NASDAQ. NASDAQ at the beginning of the year was 6,600. It is 8,800 today, which means that stocks have been flying up and this has been an amazing year to be in the market. One of the better years we've had recently. And obviously Tesla stock has been one of those to benefit from it. So I mean, the stock's gone from 240, under 240 to over $400 a share in a matter of three months. So if there was some type of big correction in the stock market in 2020, I could potentially see Tesla pulling back. Because keep in mind, when we looked at that chart right there, with Tesla stock going up like that, you definitely have had some traders jumping on this bandwagon and pushing up buying pressure even more. It's not just investors buying in, people that want to buy in for the next three years, five years, seven years in the stock, or maybe like buy it and hold it for the rest of their lives. You've definitely seen some people come in the stock recently that are traders who are seeing Tesla stock go up and up and up. And they're like, the momentum's behind this name. Maybe it's going to go to 500. Maybe it's going to go to 600. I'm going to ride it there. But if there's a big correction in the stock market, a lot of those, uh, you know, traders and whatnot will pull out of the stock. Buying pressure will subside. And you'll always have some selling pressure on all stocks out there. So it ends up pushing prices down the short term. But at the same time, keep in mind, what did we see with Tesla stock when the market was going really, really rough in 2018 in October, November, December? What did we see? Tesla stock was going up and up and up. So just because if there is a big correction in 2020, it doesn't necessarily mean Tesla stock will go down. But I would say there's a pretty decent likelihood because Tesla has roared so high throughout, let's say the last seven months or so, and a lot of momentum has been in the name. If we did have any type of major correction, I could see that being something that hurt Tesla stock price in the short term. But as for now, it has been absolutely a B stock and there's definitely still a lot of momentum in this name. I mean, every day it kind of looks like, you know, you're thinking about maybe today's going to be the day that Tesla stock pulls back 3%, 5%, 7% or something like that. And yet it continues to roar higher and get to new highs. And we'll have to see, who knows if the momentum stays in this name, there's a decent chance that this stock could be at that 420 magical level uh, before we even end 2019. But I want to hear your guys' prediction down there in the comment section. As always, let me know what your opinion is. Smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.